Greetings, Judah. DFG here, Gideon's Flight. Hey, guys. This is going to be a short message, but I just wanted to bring a couple of things uh, to your attention. Uh, events that are soon to come upon the earth. And, you know, we are, in our book, we have been, you know, forewarned to, you know, pay attention to some of the events, especially events that are happening in the sky and events that are happening in relationships to Judah. Our relationship to Judah, I shouldn't say ship, but in, relation, in relationship to Judah. You know, one of the things is that when the, when the scripture tells us in Revelations that all the nations of the earth, Meg, Megog, you know, I think that's all inclusive, you know, all the nations of the earth. You know, we hear that in Psalms 83 as well, will come against, you know, the 12 tribes, you know, Judah, Benjamin, all of us, and that we would be singled out as a nation that they want to eliminate the scripture the book tells us those things and for us to forewarn in the last days to be aware of this in addition to that think about it right now who's the focus of the whole world everybody cares about the welfare of judah you know what i mean by that everybody is talking about judah and judah being extremely healthy and they want to make judah the priority of making sure that they are very very healthy and that they can get through any kind of sickness, any kind of illness, because they're the illest people, they're the sickest people on the planet. So they want, you know, Judah to be their primary target. I guess that's the right word they said, right? They said target to make sure that Judah gets whatever Judah needs to be healthy. Okay. And yet revelations tell us that Judah is going to be the center of the battle of Armageddon. You know what I'm saying? So just keep that in the back of your mind as you hear this focus on Judah. And, you know, the, all the heathens of the world want Judah to be healthy and Judah to be saved. All right? So that, you know, even the healthy Judites, you know, uh, you know need to be, you know, uh, what's the word I want to use? They just want to make sure that, you know, medically you're healthy. Okay, thank you. Get what I'm saying here, Judah. All right, and some of us feel like we're healthy enough already, so we we're not gonna, you know, we're not gonna seek their help. And you know, we when they come to us, we're gonna tell them, no, thank you for your help. We feel healthy enough, you know. Just you know, just just saying, Judah, you know, right? We okay, Judah, right? At least those of us who are not gonna take the mark, we're healthy enough. All right, and we, you know, we'll remain healthy enough. Come, you know, as the old saying, hell or high water. All right, we'll stay healthy unto death. All right, that's the way we're going to look at it. That's, that's the approach we're going to take. Okay, in addition to that, you know, Revelation chapter 8 talks about Wormwood. And Wormwood is a star, guys. It's, 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 I think it's the seventh trumpet. And it talks about this, this, this star falling from the sky and causing one third of all the water to become poison and bitter. It talks about one third of all the, 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 the um, sea creatures dying. And we've seen sea creatures dying over the last couple of years, but according to the book, you know, it's gone to be one third of all sea life. Also, it says that, you know, many, many, many people will die. And you might say, well, DFG, okay, what does that have to do with anything right now? Well, if you know, uh, right around, I want to say between the 21st and 26th, they're talking about Jupiter and Saturn coming together. And it's going to be this big old bright, you know, you know, star, two planets coming together and it's going to look like a big bright star. And that just may be just a phenomenon. They say it hadn't happened since 1200 AD. You know, what is that? Almost 800 plus years ago, right? Almost approximately 800 years ago. 1226 AD is when they said it happened the last time. You never know what these devils are talking about. They may be lying, of course. But they claim it's just going to be a nice little illuminative event, you know, in the sky and you can go and see it. But, you know, Maybe that's all it is, and maybe it's more. You know, who can say? We just know the book talks about, you know, a bright star falling from the sky. And that star would be judgment upon the planet. For why? For, for his hatred towards Yah, and his hatred because towards the people of Yah. Talking about the tribes, okay? And for us here in, on Turtle Island in America, we know we're talking about the so-called Negro, or the tribes of Judah and Levi. But it says it's going to fall to the earth. Now, this event they're talking about is not going to fall to the earth. So, you know, maybe they're telling us the truth or maybe the book is forewarning us of something that we should anticipate and expect. This I will say to you, Judah, 
you know, if you haven't cleansed yourself of, of, of things that you know that Yah will not pardon you from, if your day to go meet the maker is that day or any day between now and then, then it's time to go before the Most High and ask him to pardon you. You know, the world calls it repent. Religion calls it repent. We call it just going before Yah and asking Yah to remove wickedness and unrighteousness and idolatry, bitterness, jealousy, hatred, unforgiveness from our hearts. That's what we call it. And Yah said that, you know, when it comes down to our brothers, you know, it's interesting. He said when it comes down to our brother, how many times should we forgive our brothers, the, the tribes? He said, you know, Peter asked Yeshua, he said, how many times should I forgive him? Seven times? Because Peter was thinking about the Psalms where he says, if that man, if a brother falls seven times, you know, Yah will, you know, will lift him up. If a righteous man falls seven times, Yah will, in other words, if he, he, if he offended seven times, Yah will forgive him. So Peter was asking Yeshua, should I forgive him, should I forgive him seven times? Well, Yah told Peter, no, 70 times seven. So that's why Peter asked that question, because Peter knew the law. And, and, and Yahshua was saying to Peter, saying to us, as a message to us, that don't let bitterness be found inside of you. Don't let unforgiveness be found inside of you, especially at judgment. And we don't know what hour, what day that our master is going to come. The father, is, we have no hour. He said he will come as a thief in the night. When we least expect it, he's going to come. And he told us that we should be aware and be prepared so that we did not get caught unawares. And I say that to you that if you have any of that in you, Judah, rid yourself of it. It's not worth your soul. And if this event that's coming in a couple of weeks, you know, as they, I think they said around the 21st of December, you know, and these devils are lying, talking, but they're trying to turn it into the Bethlehem star, that old fairy tale that's in the scripture, you know, the whole manger story and all of that, those lies and deceit. You know what I'm saying? That's what they're trying to get you to believe. But if you get all these people on the run, these people are going out and hiding, these people are bought weapons, these people are, 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 you know, wanting to help, you know, Judah, you know, so they can get this, this, this battle of Armageddon, you know, on the way because Satan is going to deceive them. They're going to think they're doing something good when they really are doing something evil. Again, they're going to think they're doing something good for you, Judah, when they're really going to be doing something evil. At least they're going to think they're doing it good for their, for, for their God, Lucifer. You follow me? So just, you know, that day is coming. And again, it may come and pass and maybe this is not Wormwood. But but I will tell you that, you know, there's a lot of alignment here. And I just said to you to forewarn you to be prepared, to be ready. Rid yourself of any of those, those, the, the, those you know, those curses. Because that's what a curse is, bitterness, unforgiveness, you know what I'm saying, unrighteousness. You follow me? That, that's, that's all of that's iniquity. And you don't want that to be found in you at judgment, my brothers and my sisters. All right. And then the rest of it is just like I said before, you know, praise Yah for your health. Praise Yah for your mind. Praise Yah that you are part of the body. Praise Yah that you are a uh, descendants of the prophets. Praise Yah that, you know, that you're the royal priesthood. Praise Yah that you're the bloodline. Praise Yah that he's bringing to the knowledge, to the truth, who you really are. Praise Yah. For all of the wisdom and the knowledge that is increasing to help you know where you are. Praise Yah <laughs> for giving us the book, giving us a true history that's not whitewashed with lies and fairy tales. You know what I'm saying? And most importantly, praise Yah for having a right mind and understanding so that if these events that I spoke about earlier are coming, that you have the power, the strength, the resilience to resist. Okay? And to be prepared. That's all I got for you right now, Judah. I love you. Keep your eyes open, okay? Do not get caught asleep. Do not get caught in, in bitterness, okay? Because the, our day of redemption is coming, even though the enemy is trying to eliminate us before that time. He won't succeed, but many of us are going to die because many of us are going to choose to reject the truth when the truth comes. But then some of us will accept that truth. And I'm talking to you. For those of you who reject, I'm talking to you too. But you're going to do what's in your heart to do. You know, because some of us have always been wicked and rebellious. And no matter what truth they hear, you can't get outside of your own selfishness. But those of you who have ears to hear, let them hear right now. The time is near. The days are short. Yah has given us the signs. Now it's time for you to do what is right. To ensure that you and the people that you love 
Don't get caught unawares. Love you guys. Praise Yah. Bye now.